This is the first lecture in the course Object Oriented Programming through Java. As the name implies Object Oriented Programming, first we look into the what is Object Oriented Programming and what is the need for Object Oriented Programming. Now, see that before the Object Oriented Programming, there is one more programming paradigm called Procedure Oriented Programming. The question is, Though we have the procedure oriented programming language, then what is the need for object oriented programming? There might be some kinds of limitations with the procedure oriented programming. To overcome those limitations, we are going towards the object oriented programming. See that these are the uh, some of the limitations of the procedure oriented programming. In procedure oriented programming, the main emphasis is given to the procedure rather than the data. The procedure oriented programming languages like C language, if you take any problem and if you are asked to solve that particular problem, then the main focus is dividing the problem into the number of sub problems. And that is called each sub problem is called as a one small procedure. That means if you want to solve a particular problem, you are dividing the main problem into the number of sub problems. And there the focus is on the the process how we are solving that. There we are not bothering about the data. This is the one of the limitation. Another limitation is anybody can access the data to all the part of the data. There is no restriction on the that accessing. Everybody are having the access to the data. That is the one more limitation with the procedure oriented programming languages. Another one is no reusability. Suppose I have written a program. After that, I would like to use the same program. It is there is no provision for reusability in the procedure oriented programming languages. And it is following the top down approach. Top down approach, as I mentioned, it is the main problem is divided into the sub problems. Again, the sub problem is further divided into the number of sub problems. After that, once you get the solutions, all of them are combined together. And that is called as a top down approach. These are all the different, uh, some of the limitations of the procedure oriented programming languages. To overcome those limitations, people are moving towards the procedure or, uh, object oriented programming languages. And what are the limitations that we have in the previous programming paradigm, those were overcome in the procedure object oriented programming languages. Here, more the emphasis is given to the data. Suppose if you nowadays the data is very much important, we need to protect the data and such kinds of the data security is not available in the procedure oriented programming and that facility is provided in the object oriented programming languages. One more thing is whatever the data hiding facility is not there in the POP and that is provided in the object oriented programming with the concept called encapsulation. And the reusability concept also can be achieved by using the concept of inheritance. And it is following the bottom up approach. Bottom up approach means here each and everything is considered as an object. We are starting with the very basic element called as a object. And the objects with the similar behavior are grouped together and they are combined to the next level. And objects with the Similar behavior again grouped together and they are forming into the next level. And here we are following the bottom up approach. The reason why the object oriented programming paradigm became very much popular is it will be used to model real world situations. Generally, we'll be writing the programs for solving the particular problems. Right? Here, the most the, the problems are around us, that means in the real world. To solve the real world problems, if you are able to model the real world problems to the uh, then we'll be using the object oriented programming languages. So that is the reason we are using the object oriented programming languages. The need for object oriented programming is this one. Thank you.